Hello, this is James Ritchie Carroll with GPA, the Grid Protection Alliance. Here at GPA, we create open source software for the electric power industry. Some of our software deals with streaming data management like the Open Phaser Data Concentrator, which we call the Open PDC, and the Substation Secure Buffer Gateway, which helps manage secret phaser data in a substation environment. Other software we write helps with electric system analytics and visualizations such as the OpenXDA and the Power Quality Dashboard. And finally, others help manage electronic data security, such as SciGate and Armor. All GPA products are built on a common set of open source code called the Grid Solutions Framework, or GSF. The Grid Solutions Framework is an extensive collection of .NET code that runs on both Windows and POSIX platforms. It's used by various power utilities and other open source projects. There are a lot of exciting new features in version 2.1 of the OpenPDC, but starting with this version in particular, it's the first time you can run the OpenPDC on Linux and Mac OS X, OS X platforms. So in this video we want to show you how to go about installing the OpenPDC in a POSIX environment and then demo its use on several different types of hardware and operating systems. So first, install it. So today I'll be installing the OpenPDC on an older SEL3354 sort of fanless style computer. It's a hardened substation computer with a single core processor. It has two gigabytes of RAM running at 800 megahertz using a 32-bit version of Ubuntu Linux. So I'm going to switch to my Linux computer. So from here, we're going to navigate to a web browser. So if you navigate to the OpenPDC website, and then click on the Documentation tab, there's a new link here called Running the OpenPDC from Linux and Mac. And from there, you can click on a link that will open up a document. And this document will describe the steps for going through the installation process. I highly recommend following this document to get your OpenPDC up and running in your POSIX environment. But for now, for this demo, I'm just going to quickly walk you through the most simple installation. So we'll skip ahead uh, down to the first page here. The first things first. Before you run this script, one of the prerequisites is a software called Mono. It's the .NET runtime engine that works on POSIX platforms such as Linux and Mac OS X. So you have to get this installed first. You can get it by navigating to mono-project.com. So if you've got that installed and it's the right version, 3.12 in our case, we can get started. So before we start the installation, we need the script. So navigate to the address found in the instructions which is here, which will bring you to our website. And we only need one, the install OpenPDC script. So I'm going to download this. I'm going to save this into its own folder. So save link as. I'm putting it on my desktop into a setup folder. I'm putting it into its own folder. You don't have to. Click Save. And now the file is downloaded. Perfect. So I'm done with my browser. And of course, if you're a command line junkie, you can use wget and do all this from the command line if you want to. So let's switch to a terminal session. So in this case, I need to change into my setup folder. And I should have my install script and I do. So in this case, um, for this particular script, we need to use bash instead of the default, what is it, dash or whatever default shell script you have, use bash, please. has some special instructions. OpenPDC.sh. You'll note also I'm using sudo to make sure I'm running as a super user. And now we will start the process. It's downloading. Uh, other scripts it will need. It's downloading source code, then it's going to compile. Since this is working on older hardware, and this will take a minute. What we'll do is just fast forward the video until it's done. Okay, 
now that the installation is complete, let's crank it up. Again, running as sudo, we're going to run the mono command. It's a .NET application. That's its runtime engine. It's defaulting in installation folder is opt openpdc. We're going to run the openpdc application. And I'm going to tell it to run as a console instead of a service, so it just gives me interactive feedback right from the screen. And this should crank up. There it goes. OK, the open PC is now up and running on an SEL 3354. So the first thing we'll want to do is exercise some of its outputs. The default configuration comes with the C37118 stream and the GEP data publisher. So let's switch back to a Windows machine and see if we can't connect to it from there. So let's see if I can make this go. OK, so back on Windows. I guess the first thing I'll do is actually try to connect to it from a PuTTY session so we can actually watch some of the feedback. So let's do that first. SEL 3354, we'll log in, and we'll turn on the remote console. So mono opt open PDC, open PDC console.exe. Let's see if we can connect to it. Oh, there we go. So we have connectivity to the service. We can sort of keep an eye on what's going on. All right, so that's that. Now let's try the PMU connection tester. Okay, now I'm going to type in the IP of that machine. It's actually on our right, 202. Okay, good. C37. 8900 TCP go yay all right so you can see on the screen how on the feedback from the open PDC it saw a connection and you can see that we're reporting C37118 data directly from our Linux machine and as I mentioned the default configuration that gets deployed with the POSIX installation also includes a measurement-based public publish subscribe output that we call the gateway exchange protocol or GEP again pub sub measurement based very handy so distributed with all of our applications or you can download it from the website there's a tool called the GEP subscription tester and this application actually allows you to exercise you know those publish subscribe features so we'll crank up that application and go type in the IP again of our Linux box. There it is. Tell it to connect and see if we can't exercise. There it is. Okay. So this tool just allows you to connect and get real time measurements from. Uh, anything that has a data publisher that uses GEP. And you can still see from the Linux screen to the right that that worked just fine. All right. One of the handy things about GEP is it allows you to dynamically and automatically synchronize any kind of data between two systems. So that's an important feature um, that we'll talk about in some later sessions. For now, I also want to show you that the OpenPDC can run on a Mac. So we switch back to the main screen. You can see I have a MacBook here. It is a MacBook Air. And in this case, we already have the OpenPDC up and running on the box. So let's try to connect to the MacBook's C37118 output stream from the PMU connection tester. So we'll just change the IP the one for the MacBook and we'll disconnect from the other one and now we'll connect to the Mac and there you go so now we're connected to the output stream from the Macintosh and you should be able to see on the screen on the Macintosh a little feedback just some output that you know you saw the connection for C37 and while that's running 
will also try to exercise its GEP stream. So let's go change the IP to the Mac over here. 10.29 connect. Now we're connecting to the Macintosh and voila. So there's the data flowing from the Mac and on the Mac screen you should be able to see just uh, a connection. And you should see that it's trying to return data. Alright, perfect. So, last but not least, one last thing to show you. We even have it running on a Raspberry Pi. So let's just try to connect to it. So let's make sure that the putty session for the Raspberry Pi is actually still up and running. Here we go. There it is. I'll minimize the other one so I'm not confused. Type list. Yep, got feedback. So there's the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we'll do these backwards. Let's try this one. Raspberry Pi IP. Which in this case is 4.106. And we'll try to connect to that machine. And you see the connection to the Raspberry Pi over here. And the data starts flowing. Perfect. Now let's exercise its C37118 stream. 121.4.106 and connect. And sure enough, even from the Raspberry Top Pi, we have a C37118 output stream as well as simultaneously the Gateway Exchange protocol. Okay, well, there you go. Open PDC running on Linux and Mac using whatever kind of hardware you might have laying around. Anyway, thanks for your time. Have fun.